Always. I'm always the best. Is there anything that Lionel Messi is better than you at? It's opinions. I respect the opinions. Maybe in your opinion, Messi is better than me. But in my mind, I'm better than him. Before Christian Ronald would go on to get his hands on two FIFA World Cup wins. Before Christian Ronald scored over 500 career goals before signing a $64 million deal with Nike. Before Christian became one of the highest paid athletes in the game of football or, well, soccer. Before competing with Leo Messi over the title of the best player in the game. By the way, I just recently made it before they were famous on Leo Messi, so whichever video gets more views, I'm gonna say he's the better player. Is that fair? Christian Ronald was born on the Portuguese island of Madeira. He began playing in the league at the age of eight for the club Andorina, and later for Nacional. Now Christian, he dropped out of school at the age of 14 after he threw a chair at one of his teachers. Yeah, him, mom and dad, they decided maybe he should just focus on his football. Now he joined Sporting the Portuguese Club Academy and he gained some notoriety for himself as being the first kid to be playing in five different divisions. Oh yeah, and that was all in one season. By 17, he was already being scouted by Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester United. And at 18, for 12.25 million, he became the first ever Portuguese player to sign with Man U. This club would be his home for the next five seasons and he would go on to showcase his skill, his ability, his God-given talents to the world. My name is Michael McCredden and welcome to Before They Are Famous, documenting Christian Ronald here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want to hear about next. And uh, do you guys believe that he is the best soccer player in the world? Or do you think it's someone else? Hmm, be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Christian Ronaldo Santos Avier was born on February 5th, 1985, named Ronaldo for his father's favorite actor, Ronald Reagan. He was raised in a poor household, his mother a cook, his father a gardener. Ronald was the youngest of four and shared everything with his siblings, including a single bedroom. He began playing soccer at the local boys club at the age of eight, known as Andorina, and from there, well, the guy became all consumed by soccer, or football. It's all he cared about, he had no interest in school, he had no interest in girls, he just wanted to get out there and kick around the ball. After playing for Nacional for only a few seasons, Ronald caught the attention of Sporting, the Portuguese soccer academy. Now he was signed at the age of 12, it was then he had to move to their homeland, leaving behind his friends and family. Now for some time he was extremely homesick, but eventually he would put that in the back of his mind, he would focus on his football, and that's when he started blowing everyone away. Well, blowing, that's weird. At age of 14, Christian and his mother, they would sit down for a very serious conversation. She kept getting complaints from school because the guy was getting into all sorts of trouble. Remember that incident I told you about where he threw a chair at a teacher? Yeah, that happened because he felt that she had disrespected him, he was expelled, he had to go to a different school, but there he wasn't handing in his assignments, he wasn't doing a good job again, so mom was like, why even bother? If you're this gifted as a soccer player, just put all your focus and energy into that. Over the next three years, Christian excelled at sporting, becoming the only person to play in five divisions within a single season. Not even a heart operation could slow this boy down. At the age of 15, he was diagnosed with racing heart syndrome and he needed an operation. And at this time, well, his future, it was uncertain. He went in for surgery and after a laser cauterized the problem area, he was discharged and back out on the pitch training within a matter of days. At the age of 17, the name Christian Ronald had caught the attention of several teams, including Liverpool, Arsenal, Barcelona, and Manchester United. In a match between Sporting and United, Ronald made a pretty big impression, beating them 3-1. Now after the game, the team was so wowed by this young boy's talent, his charisma, his charm, his footy skills, well they started pleading with their manager, Alex Ferguson, to give him a look to sign the kid already. His speed with the ball, either foot, manipulating it, making decisions in and outside the fullback, playing and then moving another position, had done its speed. And I think that was the thing that it uh, made me sit up. After a payment was worked out upwards of 12 million pounds, well all of a sudden Christian Ronald, he became the first Portuguese player to be playing for Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo's first goal for United and it will certainly make everyone today rest a lot easier. Now when he first started playing in 2003 he had requested that he be wearing the jersey number 28 but Alex Ferguson denied him stating that he would have to wear the number 7 just like the former greats which included David Beckham and Eric Cantona. Ronald now says that being forced to wear the number seven is one of the reasons behind his greatness. Basically, he's saying, you know, having the representation of some of the greats, well, that gave him that extra motivation. Uh, maybe they did something with his heart as well. 
When they were in there, probably not though. Now within his first two years of playing professionally, he was quickly becoming regarded as one of the best players on the team. His manager, Alex Ferguson, he went on to say that he might even be one of the best in the world of all time. By 2007, he had become an international sensation, winning the four top awards given by the Professional Footballers Association, including Player of the Year. He played with Manchester until 2009 after winning the Silver Ball at the FIFA World Cup, being named FIFA World Player of the Year, and numerous disputes with the club. He then moved on to Real Madrid where he would sign a record breaking deal for 93 million euros for a six year contract, ranking him as the second highest paid footballer since David Beckham. And in 2013, well, he would go on to top him. And the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before they were famous. If you think the money is going to change my mind now with 13 years old? I don't think so. I think this is not going to be the problem. My name is Mike McCrenn. Thank you for checking out my personal channel. I've done a whole bunch of bios on athletes, Stephen Curry, the Gronk. We've done uh, wrestlers. I've done everyone but a baseball player and a hockey player. So be sure to let me know which of those two you want to see next in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCrenn, and I'll see you guys in another video. United are back to winning ways. They're back smiling again after a wonder goal from Cristiano Ronaldo.